In 2023, there will be new item types or questions on the STAR Reading Language Arts test. You may be wondering what are the new item types? In this video, you will learn about the six new item types for the Reading Language Arts test. I will explain how each question differs from multiple choice and go over example questions. Angela here from Custom Classroom. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you that I'm not affiliated with TEA or STAR. This is my interpretation as a Texas educator and test prep writer. To help students learn about the new item types, I created three free sets of task cards, one for elementary, middle school, and high school. There is a link to the free download in the description. For the purpose of this video, I will be using the middle school set as an example. There are six new item types that will be field tested in selected schools in 2022, but they will count on the spring 2023 test. Let's review. In the past, the STAR test was 100% multiple choice. Now only 75% of questions can be multiple choice. At least 25 will be these new item types. The first item type is multi-part which is a question with two parts, part A and part B. In the past, students would see a single part question like this example, what inference can be made about metals? Now the question has two parts. It still has the same question, what inference can be made about metals? But now there is an added question, part B asking which detail from the text best supports your answer in part A. The answer choices will then be direct quotes from the text. The second item type is multi-select, which is a question with more than one answer. In the past, students would see a question with four answers. Only one is the correct answer. Now the question can have two correct answers. The question is still basically the same, but now there are more answer choices and more correct answers. The question now asks students to select the two options that are correct. The third item type is hot text. This is where students have to click on or choose lines directly out of the text. In the past, students would see a multiple choice question with four choices that have been taken out of the text. Now the question will have students select evidence directly from the text. Here the answer still looks like the text. Students will need to reread this portion of the text, which can be found in the original passage to select the line or lines that best answer the question. This example is how you can have students practice on paper. However, the real test will be in digital format. The answer choices will not be A, B, C, or D, but highlighted parts of the text that students will have to click on. The fourth item type is inline choice. This is where students have to select a word or phrase to complete the sentence. In the past, students would see a multiple choice question with four choices. Now the question will have students select the correct answer within the sentence. This example is how students can practice on paper. However, the real test will be digital and students will have to click on a drop down box where they will be able to select their answer choice. The fifth item type is match table grid. This is where students have to select the correct answer from a table. In the past, students would see a multiple choice question with four choices. Now the question will have students select all the correct answers to the question found within the table. The sixth item type is constructed response. This is where students have to write or type the correct answer. In the past, students would see a multiple choice question with four choices. Now the question will have no answer choices and students will have to write or type a short paragraph to answer the question using evidence from the text to support their answer. You may also see combined questions that use more than one item type. For example, multi-part with hot text or multi-select with hot text. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are looking to help your students practice the new item types, there is a link to the free task cards in the description. Good luck.